Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I will be presenting a case of lingual split technique for impacted mandibular third molar. Very good. My hand is not coming. My hand is not coming. Okay, okay. Don't call me Asik. I have hired him today. So we start with the incision. We start with the incision. We need to take the blade upwards. It should face upwards. And at that angulated position, we are giving an anterior releasing incision from the starting from the mesial root of the uh, second molar till the upwards position and then the incision is continued in the gingival sulcus. Now for the distal releasing incision we need to take it 45 degree to the distal buccal line angle that is like the distal most portion of the third molar. Giving incision into the buccal mucosa while incising in the ramus region you need to go deep and as you go upwards you need to go superficial. Take a periosteal and start reflecting the incised area from the okay. blade. ये क्या करी पेरियोस्टल से में फ्लैग हाँ कितना जानते हैं वो ये फुली रिफ्लेक्टेड डी म्यूको पेरियोस्टल फ्लैग इन डी बकल साइड एंड देन डी बकल बोन इस एक्सपोज्ड ए केयरफुल रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ अ लिंगुअल फ्लैग is very important as the crucial nerve in lingual split technique is the lingual nerve. I haven't read this anywhere in the book but what we do here is that I have learned this from my senior. We take a tweezer firstly and then we reflect the lingual flap properly with the tweezer first and then we put a periosteal for retraction. If you are a newbie it's always important to reflect the flap from the second molar and broaden the flap as much as possible so that it will be very easy for you to put the periosteal as a retractor. So in the book it is given that we can use a Howells retractor but here we use a periosteal retractor which is most easily available. Now again in the book it is written that we need to use a Minnesota retractor or Astin retractor for the lateral side but again here I have used a bone file which is easily available. We place a bite block on the other side so that it can counteract the force while splitting. Now we take the chisel mallet and we get ready for the lingual split. This cut is made for two purposes. One is that so that there will be no anterior direction of the force while we are splitting to the second molar, and secondly, for a point of application of the elevator. ये वर्टिकल कट लगाया मैंने. This cut is also very important for the point of application for the elevator. ये आ रहे. So remember one thing, in case of chisel mallet technique, you need to ask the person to make a fist and hold it below the inferior border of the mandible on the operated side. Now take an elevator and with the force of the elevator there will be fracture in the uh, lingual cortex. Now the tooth has come out but it seems uh, to be fused with the uh, cortex portion. So we are going to take it out together using a hemostat. So you can see that the lingual cortex is attached with the myeloid muscle on the inferior extent. Now we are going to detach this with a periosteal elevator. This is very important. We should not remove the periosteal until and unless the serp edges are filed because mostly there is misunderstanding that the lingual nerve paresthesia occurs because of the trauma of the chisel to the nerve. But this happens because of the uh, bone that has been split because of that sharp edges bone lingual nerve paresthesia can occur therefore we make sure that all the edges are fine and smoothened if you leave behind sharp edges it can be very discomforting to the patient and there can be exposure of the bone in that area now we remove the periosteal elevator after we are confirmed that there are no sharp edges and you again fill it with your finger स्पीकर्स कुछ है नहीं, ये क्यूरेटेड है, बस अभी हमने बोल ठीक है, अभी के लिए मैंने गोज डाल दिया, अंदी मुंह बंद करो, थोड़ा रेस करवा दिया, वीडियो, ठीक है, वी आर गोइंग टू इरिगेट दिस, मुखोल मुखोल, ठीक है, हाँ, विद सलाइन
ठीक है बीता दिन का असर थोड़ा रहने देना है बीता दिन विद चलाए ने हो गया बस सूचर बचे बस Before we proceed to the suturing, you can see that in this case, I have taken out the uh, fracture segment of the lingual cortex, and this technique is the conventional lingual split technique. So I have taken out the tooth along with the split as it was fused. As it is written in the book, that first we should take out the teeth, and then we should take out the fracture lingual cortex. So this is another case. This is also a part of conventional lingual split. Here, firstly, I have taken out the tooth. and then i have taken out the fracture lingual cortex in cases where the tooth comes out along with the lingual cortex there is nothing to be okay. apprehensive about that's fine really? there are various modified uh, lingual split technique this is my favorite technique in this technique we do not take out the fracture lingual cortex it remains back there and then this is attached to attached to the tissues so this is how i routinely perform but unfortunately i couldn't capture this in the video it is very difficult to uh, take in the video Now also we also have the combined technique of the lingual split and the bird technique. Now coming to the suturing, <coughs> now you can take a three zero suture. So usually I recommend non absorbable suture if the patient is in a localized area, so that I can see the post operative condition of the patient. This is my personal interest. But if the patient is from very far, I do absorbable suture. So the first suture is the most important suture, which is also known as the pioneer suture, because it helps in preventing pocket formation. Make sure to suture the lingual side area slight mesial to the distal papilla of the second molar. So this makes a proper approximation. I had to perform this surgery out of my comfort zone for a proper camera angulation view. So this was very difficult. Intraoral uh, video taking is very difficult. So please do like, share, and subscribe. It will be very kind of you. Now coming back to the suture, we are going to give an interrupted suture. The long end of the suture is wrapped around the tip of close needle holder twice, and then grasped into the short end of the suture. ये बना ना दिख रहा है? Same way we have done in the opposite side in the same manner. हमारा suture हो गया, ठीक है? So we have left the anterior releasing incision unsutured, so this helps in prevention of edema formation. Whatever blood and all they are accumulated, it is released through this. Also, it rests on sound bone. and okay. it is like approximating baki sir now put the pressure pack and then remove the bite block keeping the bite block for a long time on the other side is very important so that it will prevent uh, pain in the tumj due to the prolonged mouth opening and now we are done with the procedure thank you so much guys for watching my video please do like share and subscribe just forgot to show you the opg so this is the pre op and the post op opg thank you